Hi, I'm Tuluani. In this video, you will learn how to add music to your slides in PowerPoint, and you will also learn how to convert the slides, the presentation, to become a video, an MP4 video. So let's get started. I'm going to use these three slides as a demo for this, and the first one is how to add um, music to the slide. Okay, so you are on your PowerPoint display, you just hit the insert um, tab. So that's insert there. So click on that. And uh, from there, you go towards your far right hand and you see add audio. So I'm going to click on add audio and uh, I'll select the option that says the first one is add on um, audio from online. OK, so that's online. You see that. So you can just click on that if you have a particular website you trust. OK, but for this, I will recommend this website that says um, uh, the name of the website is freebackgroundtracks.net. You can see that. Okay, all right, freebackgroundtracks.net. It's a very good website where you can download freely and you won't be threatened for piracy. All right, so now if you can do that, that's fine. You can download from your device. Uh, download from there to your device as well and um, if you have video on your uh, audio on your device like i have on mine so i'm going to hit on the second option here that says audio on my pc so i'm going to hit on that audio on my pc and um, i'm going to hit on this track here on my pc under the music folder i'm going to hit on this that says um night live too short that's the track i want to use then i click on insert now the music is inserted already here is it okay so now this music is here and once it drops here you will see all this option by default you should see all this option by default the first one is to play to have a feel of how it sounds and the other one is add bookmark you can see this the other one is um audio trim okay so to, to trim the audio that's if you don't want the track to start from the beginning and you want to make adjustment to where it start or where it stops you can do that as well okay so for example i just click on this now and this is the interface this is the way it appears okay so you can make adjustment to the starting time and the ending time at the same time you can as well play here to see if it's actually playing the right thing you want or not okay all right for instance you can adjust from here and they probably bring it to somewhere here or you um, the ending should be maybe somewhere close by here and uh, you can play here to see how it sounds okay that's the end so that's if that's what you want but for me i think i want this to start um to stop at the end and start from the beginning for this particular project here so i'm going to hit okay and that's good for me so the next thing now here says um fade in fade in is if you really want it to come in softly and um to end softly that's for the fade in and fade out you can see those two options there while the next option is the volume okay you can see the volume here as well i'm going to hit on that to adjust the volume by default is on high but i want it to play as medium so i'm going to hit the medium option for the volume okay then the next one says start here start on click you can see start on click but i don't want it to start on click. it should not start on click please i encourage you change this from on click set it to become automatically it should start automatically and not on click so use this drop down to change it to start automatically and there it is start automatically all right so the next option here says play across all slides now if you just want this music to play for just this one slide here then leave it you don't need to check this box but if you want this same track to play across all the slides you have then you need to check this box here that says uh play across slides so i'm going to hit on that because i want this music to play for all the slides that i have then you if you do that then you need the second one which says loop until stopped look until stopped as well so you need to hit on that so i'll check the box for loop until stopped now here says hide during show what is hiding what is hiding this is the icon here so this music icon here you can see this music icon uh, all right so i don't want this to display while my while i'm on um slideshow mode so i need this to be hidden so you need to check the box for hide during show so i check on that and this is fine you don't need about rewind after playing you don't need that so this is good and then that's fine so the next thing now is uh, I need to tell you if you do have animations for your object like this one now it has animation there's a way it's going to come in there's an animation for this there's a way to come in and go out and the same for this other object as well so meaning this music is the last um item on the animation but if you don't have animation at all if you don't have any animation at all then you don't need to worry but now in this slide i've already added animation to all this so this will be the last thing to play so you need to go to animation and change it to become the first to play so on the animation tab here okay then you go towards your far end here you see uh these options here so you need to select this box 
here and be sure you're working on it like the box is not on so i'm not working on this music now i need to check this box and be sure i have um, i need to click on the music icon to have this box on that shows i'm working on this particular item so now if you check here now you see move earlier and move later the move later is um faded off already meaning it is the last object so you need to keep moving it earlier 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 until the move earlier becomes faded off so i hit on that hit on that hit on that hit on that and you, now you can see that move earlier is now faded off while move later is on so when move earlier is off that shows it is the first option that will play and that's done we've added the music and it's going to play from the beginning automatically across all the slides so we can just have a feel of how it is on the slideshow mode Now it's playing. Then you click for the next item to display. You click again. Now for the next slide, you see that? I'm the one clicking before you see any of this item actually. So I click for the next one again. Then I click for the next one again. All right, so that's that. That's for adding music to the slides. So you need to be the one to click and click and click before you display any item you want to display in your slideshow mode. So the next thing very quickly is for you to convert your slides to become um, a video. Yes, to convert all these and the way they will come in and all that will appear as a video. So just hit the file tab here. So come to the file tab and hit on that file tab. From the file tab, you come to save as. So from save as, then you change um, save as. Is, you, you need to give the location, okay? So the computer, I will save it on my computer. Then from there, I pick on my desktop. So from my desktop, Okay, now, so now by default, you see this save as type, save as type here. Okay, so is save as type PowerPoint presentation. That's the default um, type of this device. But you need to change this with this drop down arrow. So you use this drop down arrow to change it to MPEG4 video. You can see that MPEG4 video. So use, um, that's it, MP4 mpeg4 video so you hit on that mpeg4 video that is it so now and once that is fine and you know you're good then you hit on the save button there so once you hit on the save button then uh, by default the conversion will start here you can see this at the bottom here so just check the bottom here you see the conversion is going on so once this uh, bar is filled up that means it's totally done and it to be off from here you won't see it anymore once the bar is filled up and it's done it's no more there you can see it's no more there it's no more there so it is done so now let, let's just play the video now and see the way it is so um, i'm gonna hit on th this the this the file here this is my desktop okay uh maybe i can close this and then here is it you can see this here so that's the file there as an mp4 you see it's, it's now a video and not um and not um powerpoint you can see that okay so i'm gonna Play this now. All right, that's it. That's the end of the video, and um, it's just a demo, you know. So I think um, you've learned the way it is. So it's very easy and simple. All right, so I hope you've learned in this video, and uh, I, I hope you like it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and uh, it will be a very good one if you subscribe to this channel, so you get to see my next videos when they are out. And uh, please try to share this, share the link, so that others will learn as well. If you have any question or there's anything you want to talk about, please drop it in the comment below. I will make videos for you about that. Thank you.